Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and in this uh, video for Back to Basics on the privacy settings in Windows 8, we will look at the privacy settings for two main components of pretty much all laptops and tablets, the webcam and the microphone. And we'll do both in this video. So if you have not looked already we had a video on the general privacy settings we had another one on the location privacy settings and now we will look at the privacy settings for the webcam and the microphone to go to privacy settings of course you go into the start screen on search or in the charms bar on the search and you type privacy settings there you'll see privacy settings you click on that so we looked at general and at location in other videos so you should actually check those if you want to learn more today we're talking talking about a webcam and the microphone so why do we have webcam and microphone privacy settings well it's simple because we might not want every app to be able to use the cam and we might not want every app to use the microphone we might even not want these to work at all on apps so webcam as of course the general switch which is at the top means that the webcam if you put this switch at off no apps in Windows are able to turn on the webcam and that's very important because that's a lot of problems I get mail after mail after mail of my webcam doesn't work with the Skype app or doesn't work with um, I don't know a photo app or a capture app or the um, picture app in um, Windows and it's almost always because of this little switch that's because the master switch is at off or the individual apps are set at off so if you never use your webcam for any reason at all of course the first thing I would say is shut off this switch this is the master switch by putting it at off you know that apps won't be able to use your camera now be careful because viruses or even certain types of software might bypass this and be able to use the cam even though this master switch is off but this is mostly for apps uh, and of course you've got individual switches for all the apps that might require a camera use so I've got it on for Adobe Photoshop Express because I might sometimes take pictures but it's pretty much off for everything here because I don't use any of these apps so you know what if you don't use any of these apps or any apps in that list put everything at off and there's not going to be any problems there you might just want to keep the master switch on because if an app ever requires to use it in the future at least it's going to be on or put it at off but remember that you just put it at off a lot of people are scared you know of um, getting pictures taken of them or their children without their knowledge now even though this is a good idea it will not prevent a virus for example of taking an, a picture you know uh, of of somebody so that's one thing you know that trick putting a little tape or a little something over uh, the camera lens is uh, probably the best bet if you really really want to make sure that it's off the microphone the microphone is the same thing you have the master switch on or off and you have the individual apps that might want to use it so depending on if you ever use the microphone for something you might want to put just the general switch at off make, making sure that all the apps don't use it or just switch on the ones that you might want the microphone to be used for example here gmaps I don't know why I would put this at on so pretty much everything is at off um, one that I would probably use on is the sound recorder if you want to record notes record some short stuff you know short messages and so it really all depends on what you do with your computer and to use your knowledge and um, to just use the common sense what might be used with the microphone or the webcam and is it worth it to have it switch on or off or maybe the master switch on or off so it's up to you but it's interesting to note that all these 
options are available and can actually prevent uh, someone from using an app. So for example, uh, you can also use this if you don't want someone to use uh, Skype on your computer, for example. You might go into the settings and put the Skype switch at off for my webcam and for the microphone and that will prevent someone from actually making video or audio calls from these settings. So that's pretty much it on the webcam and microphone and make sure that if you use an app where the microphone's required, the webcam's required, and it doesn't work, that these switches are on. That's probably the number one problem for the apps that don't work with the cam or the microphone. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And hopefully, you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel.